is day three. Hold on, let me see if the echo will be less. This is day three of March Madness. So I'm about to go ahead and get into the video. This is a going to be a basics administrator for training. So if you're new to, you know, training or forex or anything like that you don't really know how to work meta trader you don't know how to put indicators on you don't know how to do any of that we're gonna get into that right now um so yeah just um yeah we're about to get into the video in a couple seconds i'm kind of sleepy and it's 11 30 so i need to hurry up but yeah keep watching all right y'all so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download the meta trader 4 app so boom y'all see it downloading right now and we're gonna open it this is the first thing that you are going to see once you open the MetaTrader app. But what I want y'all to do first is I tell all my new mentees to open up a demo account with Hugo's Way. So we're going to go right here. We are going to press new account, open the demo, and then I'm going to just type in Hugo's Way. And then boom, it should already have like most of your information at the top. Um, and then you just press register. Oh, I got to put my number in. So put this. Put my email. Sometimes it already have it on there, sometimes it don't. So and then you just press done. Um, so now this is the first thing you that you see. What you're gonna do first, press the plus sign in the top right hand corner, and then you're gonna add all. So I went to FX crosses at every single forex cross that you see, right? Every single forex cross that you see. So there we go right there. You got every single Forex pair. If you want, like, say you want Bitcoin, you will go in cryptos. Say you want to find gold, which is XAUUSD, you will go to metals. Um, energies is like oil. Indices is like um, US 30, SVX 500, NAS 100, et cetera, et cetera. So if there's anything that's called in your team chat that you cannot find out of the Forex pairs, it's probably in one of these rows, right? So what you want to do now is you want to switch to the advanced side. You always want to make sure that you're trading on the advanced side because it gives you a lot of information that the simple side does not give you. So for example, it tells you the pair's low of the day, which is how low that pair went in the high of the day. It also tells you what the spread is at that moment. Everybody should know if you just not a basics that spreads are high at five o'clock. So at five o'clock, you will see a lot of these spreads raised like very, 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 very high. Right. Um, so, yeah. So then when you press this little pin in the top left hand corner, you can delete any, you know, one of these. Um, and then also, let's see, I'm doing it right. Yeah. So also you can move any of the pairs around. So I know some people like to like alphabetize every single pair so that they'll be, you know, easier to find. I really, you know, to me, it don't really matter, but just make sure that you always keeping it on the advanced side. Now, when you press on any particular pair, three things comes up. You have trade, you have chart, and then you have details. So one of the ways that you can enter a trade is actually, you know, going, clicking on, you know, the pair and then pressing trade. And then it will bring up, you know, your market execution, your lot size, your stop loss, and your take profit, you know. Um, and then you can just enter the trade. So since this is a demo account, I'm going to just, you know, they give you an automatic stop loss and an automatic take profit as soon as you press stop loss and take profit. So if you have like a team signal chat and they actually give you a stop loss and take profit, all you have to do is go through, delete what they already put and then, you know, copy and paste whatever you have. I know I do that for my team, but if not, you know, you can just use theirs or you use your own and then you press you know, buy or sell, and they saying invalid, take profit or stop loss. So I'm just go ahead and enter a trade just so y'all can see, and I'm not going to put a stop loss or take profit. I'm going to just hit buy. And then you see, as you automatically get into the trade, it automatically starts you off in negative. This is because you basically are paying to get into a trade. So whenever you get into a trade, that is what your spread is. So the numbers that say spread, this is basically the amount that you're paying to get inside of a trade to your broker, right? Your broker charges a fee every time that you get into a trade, and that's what the spread means, right? Um, so that's the first part. Second part is chart. So you see that the chart is kind of like it got ugly colors on it right now. It has black with green outline and then white with green outline. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change the chart details. So you're gonna go 
you know, you bring up your chart, you just go to settings, click on it, go to settings, and then you're going to see colors at the bottom. Click on colors, and then for your bull candle, you usually put that as green, but if you want to be fancy, go ahead. For your bear candle, that's usually red, but if you want to be fancy, go ahead. And then for the bar up, that's your outline of your candle, so I'm going to put that green as well. And then for the bull bar down, that's going to be um red and you're just gonna go back now you see that the chart the colors are changed um for your indicators if you want to take the indicator every single time you get on metatrader for it's automatically gonna start you off with the rsi if you want to delete the rsi you just slide over press delete if you want to put another indicator on you press indicators main window and then you add any of the indicators that are in here um objects so in the objects tab you have horizontal vertical lines fibonacci's arrows trend lines etc etc so you know that um you can do this and then you can also change the colors so if you go to objects and then you click on it and then it's gonna say style you can also change the color of the objects that you have on the screen you see that i changed this one from red to pink okay so another thing that we have is details so um when you go and you click on you know this in the advanced cart part you see details now um some of this stuff i don't really know or pay attention to what it means but what i do want y'all to take pay attention to is the swap long and the swap short so y'all know at five o'clock you get swap fees for carrying your trade on to another day this is how you will know if you should get out the trade before five o'clock or not because it tells you or if you pop the two big lot size you can actually you know go ahead and actually you know modify that um if you want to get out or not based on the swap long or the swap short so this swap long it has a negative number so that's basically the negative price that it will be for staying in the trade after five o'clock swap short has a positive number so that means that actually if you stay in that trade after five it's going to pay you for being in that trade but swap long if you stay in a buy trade after five o'clock they're going to actually take money away so that's just something that y'all should basically know um i already went over you know chart details everything that you need to know for that you could also um get into a trade from your actual chart screen so say you know somebody in your chat calls a signal you click on it um you go to chart real quick so just to see what's going on and then you hit it again you can actually go to trade and then they're gonna go ahead set you up with the trade part um here's the middle part this is like the main part that you actually get into trades on your balance is how much money you have in your account your equity is how much money you have into your account after you close your trades. So you notice that, you know, it's nine ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine because I'm in 76 cents because I'm negative 24 cents. Your margin is how much money you using to hold you in the trade. Your free margin is how much money you have left to get into a trade. And your margin level percent is basically... I don't know how to explain it exactly, but it's basically your good standing with your broker. You never want your margin level percent to be under 500, but if it gets under 100%, your broker will actually start closing you out of trade. So that's bad. Getting under 100% is very, 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 very bad. So you don't want to ever go there. Um, Another thing that I had to say um, about this. So say you have like a lot size of a 0.10 and say that you want to take some of your profit. Um, I just got in a buy and then I got in a sale. But whatever. Say that you want to take some of your profit, right? What you can actually do is you can go to this. So how you close out trades manually. A lot of people don't even know how to do this. You hold the trade down and you click modify or you can click close. So you can click close and this is going to say close with the loss, loss of 120. You can go ahead and close that out. If it's a profit, it's going to say, you know, profit, close with a profit of whatever, whatever. But what you can actually do is you can go and you can close some of your position. So instead of closing, you know, the whole point 10 that you originally did, you could close 0.05 of a position, then boom. So now you see instead of it saying point 10, you now have 0.05 in there. Um, And then 
yeah so that's basically it for this specific session one more thing um if you want to get into a trade on this screen you press the plus sign and then you go through and you can find your pair if you already own your pair you good but you can go through and then you can find your pair in this side and um yeah your history is basically a history of all the trades that you've been in your profit and the amount of your deposit so it basically helps you keep track of every trade that you've been in they have day week month or you can do customized you know dates so you can put the date from and to say you want to do two days or three days or four days you can go and put the dates in right here and then your settings just allow you to basically, you know, switch from demos to live accounts or demos to other demos, whatever, whatever. Um, make new accounts, check news, change your password and all of that. So this is like, you know, a quick little basics that I usually, you know, do with my team um, as a group. Usually for all the people that, you know, are beginners and first started in the market. Um, so if you are a beginner and you know you don't really know what metatrader is doing this is just a fast-paced version i talk kind of fast but the video is already 10 minutes so y'all should have got like a lot of information in this this is day three of march madness um and i'm making my video a little late tonight so y'all gonna have to forgive me but i hope this helped y'all out make sure y'all comment on my video make sure y'all like make sure y'all subscribe and keep supporting me and thanks